Hi ladies, hi gents. I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch. Okay, so I just want to show you what I started off with. Okay, I found two of these um, oval frames. They're actually mirror frames. A car boot sale and they didn't have the mirrors in and they are metal with the a baseboard and the back is also uh, metal so this is what I started with and these these were so cheap these were a pound I got two of them this is the larger one and then there's one slightly smaller and they were a pound each so I thought oh they're different. <laughs> I can do something with them, I'm sure. So that's what I started with. Okay. So let me show you what I did. Okay. Can I get it all in? Not quite. Okay, so it's slightly smaller than the other one. And uh, what I did is I used some of the patina inks on the, the metal. And I sort of used a, a, a green and a pink. And I love how the colours came out on that. I did then uh, add a tiny, tiny bit of gesso just to mattify it. Because it was still quite shiny after I used them. And I wanted more matte look. But the colours kept beautifully. I love how that turned out. Um, so it's sort of like pink pearlescent and uh, the minty blue pearlescent so that was great so in the centre where the baseboard was I um, just used a sheet of paper and uh, glimmer misted it that blended with the colours I was using so the, the pinks and sort of tealy greens and mint green um, so then on the edge of it um, I just added a couple of laces all the way around on the inside edge and the outside edge and then I used this Chinese braiding in this beautiful colour um, which I found was in a bag of laces I bought on eBay that one okay so where am I going to start okay I'm going to start with the centrepiece here Gosh, I nearly spilt my tea. So I just took an image that had pinks in it of two vintage, well, a vintage lady with a child. Let me zoom in a bit. And um, then I cut a, a backing piece of paper as well. So I laid it onto that, put a tiny trim. Again, I used some of the Chinese braiding and some of the lace down here and up the top as well. Okay, so... Along the bottom I used some of the cherry blossoms in the pastel colours, um, I absolutely love these. So they're the 50 mixed pastel colour cherry blossoms and the product code is MKX247. Um, then across the top I just used the tiny 10mm open roses and they're actually from the vintage colour pack. So 100 mixed vintage colour open roses in the 10 mil, and the product code is MKX043. So I used those there. Um, then right up the top of the archway here, I used some of the beautiful new um, magnolias. I had to use them straight away. So I just used um, three of those, two in the sort of greeny blue and one in the white which I glimmer misted and I absolutely love these, they are so gorgeous and the product code is Q QVR029, <clears throat> excuse me, and I will pop all the links down below in the description box and the link to the store and everything else. 
I also used some of these little stamen that I had in my stash and then either side I used some of the new apple blossoms again which I love and I used the light pink and the product code is MKX628 and if I just turn this round actually because just at the back of the the, um, the magnolias I have some leaf lace peeping out here and here and I actually cut that from this beautiful lace so I just cut a couple of the leaves out and I glimmer misted them in pink you can just a very very pale pink and you can just see them peeping out here behind the flowers and the product code for this lace is MKX302. <clears throat> okay, so if I turn it around. So in the centre here, I used another one of the new laces. And I, I sort of thought it looked like trellis um, in a garden, which is this beautiful lace. So stunning, and I actually used it this way up. Um, and the product code for this is MKX301. And then, just on all the flowers on the lace, I've just popped um, some sweetheart blossoms, and these are from the mixed pink and white sweetheart blossoms and the product code is MKX637 um, I had these um, topiary trees in my stash, they're plaster and I just used glimmer mist to give them colour and add the, added them either side and I love how they turned out again I've used some of the the magnolias in, in the white either side. These are so beautiful, really, really beautiful. And then just in between those, you just see peeping out. Um, let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit. Here and at the top, I've used some of the lily flowers. These are gorgeous. <coughs> really. Excuse me, really, really beautiful. Um, so this is the mixed colour lily flowers and the product code is MKX197. Um, and I'm so thrilled how this turned out, I really am. It's, it's, it turned out better than I thought it would. And I did actually keep the back. Uh, metal and as you can see there's already a, a hook for hanging it up um, so I'm, I'm really thrilled I really hope you like it um, I had lots of fun making it and um, please please go check out the store you will absolutely love these new flowers they're just so beautiful and the laces um, they really are and beautiful colours so that's my project, so I really hope you like it, and hopefully I'll be back with another project very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.